In this video, we're going to talk about Gen 4 AMS documentation and section control. The first thing we're going to talk about is setup on the bottom left. So the first thing you're going to notice is we have location. So we click on location, and in location we set up the client, the farm, and the field. Uh, make sure that is current for the field that we're in. If it's not, please select the other one or add new. Once we have the correct field selected, we hit OK. Next, you're going to notice details. So under details, we can add operator. Uh, you can enter a name, and as well as you can enter a license number for maybe a commercial applicator. The next feature we have there is conditions. So on our sprayer, we could add temperature, wind speed, wind direction, sky conditions, humidity, yep. or on field, we can add soil moisture or soil temperature. The next thing we have there is our equipment tab. So you'll see our sprayer. This should pre-populate for you. So under the sprayer, you'll see the serial number for the sprayer you're currently in. You'll see your GPS offsets. Uh, if we need to change them, we click on this. Uh, there, it'll show you the measurements. So typically one will always stay at zero. Number two, we always recommend you actually measure that with the tape measure. So that's 176 inches default. Maybe it's 180 something. So if you measure that and that's different, enter it in here, select OK. The next selection is our working width. So it'll tell us our boom and nozzle settings. So we can click on that. If we wanted to change anything, we could do that here and hit save. Next spot is work point. Work point is really important in section control. To change that, we click on it and we can change that to four feet or whatever it may be. It shows you where that measurement is and it tells you what you should be measuring to get that. So it's an inline distance from center of rear axle to the point at which operation occurs, so where the spray drops. So say that's four feet, we had enter four feet in, and it okay. That's one thing you're gonna to wanna to actually measure and make sure that's correct for using section control, as well as your mechanical delay. So you can click on your mechanical delay on and off. We can change them settings, or we can go into performance tuning. I'll talk about that later when we get into section control. From there, that's everything you have to set up under the machine profile. So we'll go ahead and hit save, hit OK. And lastly, we have our work summary, which is our documentation. So we have our operation as product application. If it's a single product, we'd select that. We'd enter a product name. And then we have our controller rate. So we could come in here and adjust our controller rates for rate one, two, and three, or our pressure, uh, whichever we want to do there. Hit OK. We can also bring in a prescription. So we can select the RX. If we've already uploaded a prescription, we can go in there. And maybe we see we see we got a herbicide one here. So we'll go ahead and hit that. Hit OK. It's going to bring your active prescription up. So we have a three second look ahead. If we ever need to bump that up, so the sprayer looks ahead longer. So we can uh, get that boom charge in time for what we're trying to adjust to. We can adjust that look ahead time. We can also put a prescription multiplier in here. So if we want to up our rate a little, we can just add a percentage of multiplier in. We can also click on the option down here and edit some of the prescription. We can put a no GPS rate in or an out of zone rate. Hit OK. And then we can go ahead and save that prescription. So once we have that complete, that's kind of what we need to be set up for you know, to go to the field and actually document and record an as-applied map. At the top of the page, you'll notice two icons. The I is your help button. It'll give you um, details on each of these. So if you have questions about something that can't get a hold of one of us, you can go in here, kind of get a built-in operator's manual, and read about what you're changing or adjusting. On your setup arrow up here, the arrow pointing up with the dot above it, if you don't want to see your operator's license or conditions, we can go ahead and uncheck them. And you'll notice here that we no longer have that option. So now we just have our location, equipment, and work summary. Down at the bottom, we have our work list for previous work. And we have new work if we want to create new work in the field. Go ahead and hit OK. So that's kind of your basic AMS documentation. One other thing I was going to touch on. Uh, if we go to our main menu, Applications, Layout Manager. In Layout Manager here, I was just going to point out your default run pages or what you see on the screen. 
if you want to create a new page, you must go down to All Run Pages and add a new page. Once that's added, you'll come up to your default run pages and add it into that list. As well as shortcut bars, we can edit any of the bottom shortcut bars on our main screen in this page as well. So if I go to edit, you'll see the shortcuts we previously have. So maybe we wanted to get rid of help, we could remove that and add in uh, maybe sharing if we're running two sprayers in one field. And go ahead and save that icon. So I just wanted to point out where that was. Uh, a little different than the older displays, a little more time consuming, but you can really customize these pages with the new layout manager. Um, from there, we're going to dive in and talk a little bit about section control. Uh, you'll notice that we had add that to the shortcut key, so it's down here on the bottom, so it's easy to click on and off. And it'll show you your sections there, so you can see them if they're on or off. So I'm going to go back into the setup and the sprayer, under the sprayer. So the two big things for uh, section control on Gen 4 is this work point. But again, we want to make sure that our work point is correct, and that's from the rear steer axle to where product is being dropped. So if that's four feet and you've measured that and you're happy with it, that's great. And the last thing is the mechanical delays. So this should probably be what's pre-populated in your display when you get it. Um, that may or may not be correct for you in the speed that you're comfortable running. So with Gen 4, we have this option of performance tuning. So if we go ahead and click on performance tuning, you noticed when you're entering coverage, we have a skip of maybe two feet two inches after you got out and measured that you can enter that in and we know we're constantly running 14 mile an hour we enter that in there and maybe when we're exiting coverage we noticed that we had an overlap of maybe one foot we go ahead and enter that in and again we want to get that speed right so maybe we're exiting coverage at 12 mile an hour so once we go ahead and enter them in when we hit ok it's going to convert that to the right on and off times. So a lot simpler, do it all with the tape measure. But again, the biggest thing here is maintaining speed because none of this matters if we measure the skip at 2.2 feet, entering coverage at 14 mile an hour, and then the next pass we only enter at 10 mile an hour. This is not going to be the right number for your on and off times. So once we got them entered in, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it has now changed your section controls settings and they will be updated. So now you can see the on is 0.94 and off is 0.49. So once we have that correct, we can go ahead and hit save and hit OK and OK again. And that's the biggest thing on uh, Gen 4 section control. Just make sure you have your on and off times correct and you have a uh, correct working point in there.